To midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, of course, Alison Davis is in the house, and we are making a southern traditional dish. Yes, and we're in my house. You're in your house Finally. now. Finally. <laughs> Over wild time cooking, of course. We had our new stoves put in, which is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Have a little bit more work to do, but yes. I wanted to get in here yes. and actually start cooking from here. Yes. Okay, so where do we start when it comes to making a good biscuit? Okay, well, it's a southern staple. Um, every southern cook should know how to make a biscuit. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so we're going to be making biscuits and gravy, and we're just making a very simple buttermilk biscuit. Um, okay. There's a lot of different variations of biscuits. There's a lot of different ways you can go, but there's some that are just classic that are simple. All right. So what you start with is just some flour. Um, and I use typically just all-purpose. Good oak. I've got some dough ready. Okay. For TV. Oh, I just lent on your new cooker <laughs> and I had a little bit of a click. So I'm just going to start with, say, like two cups of flour. Yeah. Right? Um, so all purpose flour. Um, you could use self rising, um, but you wouldn't need to add the baking powder if you use self rising. Okay. Since we're using all purpose, we're going to be adding the baking powder. So I'm going to go with about one tablespoon of baking powder into the yep. all purpose flour. Okay. And then you're going to add salt sugar, a little bit of both for a little balance. A bit of sweeten it up. Mm -hmm. okay, a little bit of gotcha. salt and sugar. If you're making like a biscuit for say like shortcakes, yep. you might add just sugar and not the salt just to okay. you know keep it sweeter versus right. um, balanced. And then what you do is you will take cold butter and you cut it into the flour. I got you. So you just break it up till yep. the butter is soft and nice. resembles almost like cornmeal. Okay. That is your dry ingredients. That's it? That's it. Okay. So all you do is you add liquid to balance with the flour okay. to make it come together. And I've already got some dough here Good. that's already done, so, so it's nice and along. soft. And what I do is I add the buttermilk, and that's what calls it. That's why it's a buttermilk biscuit. Okay. So we add buttermilk into the flour with the butter, and then I don't even use a rolling pin. You see how soft that dough is? Yeah. You just kind of pound that out, and then you just cut your biscuits. Do you don't need to flour the... You do. I mean, I do flour it just keep, to keep it from sticking. Yeah. Um, and then I'll oftentimes spray the pan. And then just the trick on the biscuits, bake at 350 till they're nice and brown. Um, but they, if you put them together, like not spread apart, but you put them side by side, yep. they actually help each other to climb so that they're fluffier and uh, taller. They oh, okay. cling to each other. So, so but not it's not like, a like cookies. Yeah, yeah, you want them together so yeah. they actually will uh, oh, bake okay. up together. I got you. All right, Perfect. so on our new little handy stove here. That's what we like to see, right. my friend. <laughs> a bit of gas. So we are going to make some gravy, and this is a very simple gravy. And a lot of homes, I mean, especially if you're like my house and cook bacon, uh, for the kids, you sometimes have reserve of that bacon fat yeah. or the bacon oh, drippings. Oh, you're using the bacon so fat? So I just use the oh bacon my dripping gosh. instead of the cooking flavor. off the sausage and yeah. having to do all that. Sometimes for just simplicity, baking off um, or just using the drippings. So we make a roux. Mm -hmm. Remember we've talked I know about how to make this. A roux. So we make a roux just by heating up the um, bacon fat and then adding flour into that. Okay. Gravy is so simple. Do you ever make gravy? I don't, you know I don't cook. I mean, did, did your mom ever make gravy? Well, no. Gravy? Remember I asked you or about gravy? making gravy and we actually... Did we go out? There we are. Um, I said to you that no longer should you be using gray box or gravy powder. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you, we should be making it. My nonna used to always make a roux, just like you are. Mm -hmm. She'd bake a chicken or, or a side of beef or something. Mm -hmm. And then just like you, she's using the dripping. Mm -hmm. And the flavor that it used to oh, do gosh. was amazing. Beef drippings. Oh. oh my gosh, it was so yummy. So we've melted all that. That's so really you, super yeah, simple. Yeah, so once you melt the uh, fat, you're just gonna add that flour in. Yeah. And you basically, um, what I always tell people in classes and whatnot, is you want it to look almost like wet sand. Yeah. So that um, it's not too thick like a paste, but it's just smooth and almost like, you know, when the wave washes up on yep. the beach, it's just that like wet nice. sand look. Nice. So we have that, right? We kind of have that wet sand yeah. thing going on. And then at this point, all you're going to do is add in milk. And then you I was bring gonna it say, to a boil. When do we add the milk? I didn't realize. So this is your roux to That's begin with. That's the roux. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we just keep adding a bit of milk as we go. 
you add milk and then you let it come up to a boil and okay. that's the only way that you can tell the thickening of your roux. Oh. So if you add too much milk it'll be too thin, if you add too little milk it'll be too But then we can thick, add more powder. But you can always add more, yeah. no powder. A flour. <laughs> flour. All right, but add that in. But you can always add more milk. You can always tell if someone does a good roux when it comes to the table. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yes, um, we call it, um, it's a funny word, but it's uh, French, but the consistency that you're looking for is called nappe, oh. um, which means it just coats the back of the spoon. Oh, um, nice. And that's the perfect texture for a sauce is that when you, you know, pull it out and it doesn't like stick to the spoon, yeah, yeah. it just lightly, you know, Gorgeous. falls right off. Uh -huh. And would you flavor this? Or Absolutely, because oh. you don't want it to taste like flour. So, so I'll do like salt, pepper, and typically some nutmeg. Oh, that's what I love to hear. And then pour that right over a biscuit. Okay, You're in business. so while this is thickening up for us, we're going to go to break. Yeah. You're going to see all the fantastic finished result on WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky over here in the new place where is our new cooking home, Wild, Wild Time. Time. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>